Hey guys, this is Shay coming back with you with another video. And um, today I'm gonna talk about my experience with the company, uh, Glam Girls underscore Posh Toddy. She changed her name. It used to be Posh Toddy. And I know her Magic Touch, M-A-G-I-K Touch is what she works with for the um, PayPal. And she sells like um, high quality dupes of bags. Okay, so I wanna talk about my experience with that because I didn't have the best experience, but um, I think it's important to have honest reviews and she doesn't have a lot of reviews out there and the ones you do see um, are manufactured. She only lets, you know, she can control those. So like here goes an honest review for somebody she can't control. So anyway, I had been following her for a while. I wanted to treat myself for my birthday and um, I looked at her policy. I saw that it took about a month to receive the items and I saw some reality stars advertising her with her bag, so I wanted to give it a chance and try it. So I ordered two bags from her. This is the first one, a Balenciaga bag. And then, if you can already see that, and then I got a Louis Vuitton bag, okay? So first, I wanna go with my experience. Okay, so I, I contacted her on IG. She responded instantly, right away. I love that about her. And then um, she sent me an invoice and I got the invoice. Um, I had ordered it and I was hoping that the bags would arrive for my estimation. This I really wanted this bag to carry. I had a trip planned for my birthday in November. So I really wanted this to arrive in time uh, for my trip, okay? So I ordered everything and she, about a week later, I got a tracking number. The tracking number, obviously the company's in Turkey. And honestly, I'm telling you guys, if you do order from her, the tracking number is irrelevant because, uh, yeah, until it reaches the United States, there's really nothing at all. So anyway, I was happy to at least get the tracking number and I sort of put it off in the back of my mind. And um, around November 3rd, I got a notification. I use the app called Shop, which is a really good app that you guys, um, I suggest anybody that orders online frequently uses because it tracks it for you and it sends you notifications when things are even moving. So that's how you know something's in transit. So I really like that app. So I got a notification, hey, your stuff is moving, which made me go look at it. And I had saw that it was already in New York on November 3rd. So I was like, cool, it should start moving now. And it should get to me, I live in New York. It should get to me within a week. Um, after a couple of days of not even seeing it move at all, you know, it was just like, okay, let me reach out to the post office. I contacted them and they have a, a new automated system but the system let me know like, hey, it looks like your item may be lost. Um, have the sender or the seller contact us to launch an investigation. So I contacted her right away when I said, hey, this is what's going on. Her response was, we're in Turkey, what does that have to do with us? You know, and I should have took that as some type of way, but I really didn't because you can't, read somebody's tone via text messaging or emails or stuff like that you can't really tell a person's tone it's just in your head how you read it so i was just like hey i know but you know they're saying just to see what's going on you have to contact them i can't contact them so we'll talk back and forth a little bit and she was like hey can you reach out to my customer service this is there and she sent me their email address i sent an email address to them i sent an email to them they contacted me right away, instantly. Within an hour, they contacted me. Hey, we're sorry for what's going on. Can you please send us your IG name, you know, so we can look into this further. I was happy. I sent them my my IG and left it alone. It was really early in the morning, like two, three o'clock, one, two, three, four, five, you know, something like that in the morning. Went back to sleep, didn't think about it. I woke up, I was surprised to not hear from them because they had responded the first time so quickly. But once again, it was just like, boom, we're getting closer to my trip by this point in time. Um, I'm trying to 
be understanding and compassionate to her situation because she's posting that she's dealing with earthquakes and stuff like that and power. So I'm trying to be compassionate about her situation because at the end of the day, it's a bag. It's not my life. I'm not going to die. It's a bag. So the, uh, my trip comes, comes, come back. I get a notification. Still didn't hear anything from them. But I'm, now I'm in Thanksgiving mode. Now I'm like, oh, I'm going to go see family in Thanksgiving mode. And I get a notification saying, hey, your bags are available for pickup. So I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, I'm glad this all worked out. You know, even though I didn't get it from my trip, I'm glad the bags are coming. But it rubbed me the wrong way about her customer service people that she, not her necessarily, her customer service, how they handled it. So I reached out to them and I let them know like, hey, I really just don't appreciate that you guys never even got back to me I, at all. And their response was a cut and paste of this is our policy, no returns, no refunds, we're not responsible, boom. Very nasty. So I responded because I shop a lot online so I know all about policies and I read everything before I buy it from anybody because you're not gonna just take my money and cheat me out of something. I don't receive an item, I'm getting my money back. I never received your item. I'm also going to file a complaint with PayPal and Cash App, because those are two apps that you guys use and the Better Business Bureau. Like, hello, that's not okay. So then they responded with, oh, you're right. Um, we're so sorry, what can we do to help? By this time, I was over it. The bags said they were available for pickup. I'm going to visit family, so I'll pick up the bags when I come back. That was my, hmm. So I don't know what happened in between them, if they contacted her, whatever the case may be. But then I did receive a response to her on IG with a screenshot of the tracking, and it said, go pick up your bags, like that. And I'm reading it how I read it in my mind. To me, now you're coming off completely nasty. You're you're disgusting. You're disgusting at this point in time. That's that's how you talk to people. Okay, so I see like their reflection of you. So I said, yes, I saw your customer service sucks. That was my response. Closed it out, moved on, went to go enjoy my Thanksgiving with uh, my husband, my kids, my family, um, out of my mind, came back the Sunday after Thanksgiving, there's a package in front of my door. I didn't pay too much mind to it, you know, throw it in the house, we got back at three o'clock in the morning, went to sleep, woke up the next day, looked at the bag and I saw it said it was from Turkey. And I'll insert a clip of how the package looked. I was surprised because the packaging even the packaging the packaging was really is really really bad to pack a bag if anything would have it was thin like this you know the bag was just in something like this but not even thick plastic like this it was and then a bunch of tape it was just like if anything would have punctured it you could have scratched the leather anything like that and then you would have told me we're not responsible right for handling so and it looked like it was just one bag. So I was like, okay, where's my other bag? But before I freak out, something told me, sachet, record yourself opening up this package, just in case. So I'll insert a, insert a clip of that. So when I opened up the bag, um, this came just like this. And inside the bag, this was inside the bag, just like this. This wasn't wrapped or anything, it was just sitting like that. So. I was like, got the bags, happy. Let's move forward to what I think about the bags. So first we'll talk about the Louis. This is the Louis, this is the bottom of the bag. And this is the sides. I have not used the sister has the plastic. I haven't used it. So the only thing I'll say is that I don't like about it is that the threading, the stitching is good. I just didn't like this yellow thread that they used okay um i don't like that and the inside the material they use for the inside of the bag it's a little suspect we'll say that but overall it's just like you can close this and i'm just i can deal with this 
I can deal with this. What I dealt with the customer service, this is something that I wouldn't even bother complaining about. I would just be like, oh, I'm not gonna really order from you guys anymore, but I really wouldn't complain, okay? Move on to the bag that I was really looking forward to, more of an everyday bag for me, the Balenciaga. Y'all see that? Do you see this? Let me see. Do you see this? I didn't do that. It's not a stain, a scuff. I thought it was glue. Maybe I can like to flip it off or whatever. It's a part of the bag. It's like the leather or something. I don't know what it is, but it won't come off at all. And then the bottom of the bag. See this? It's crooked. At least that's the bottom of the bag. And then you have some extra th thread sticking out. And I'm using the bag so I won't show it, but also inside the bag, the lining is better quality than the Louis, I'll say that, but there's definitely extra threading hanging off that needs to be clipped and tied off. Um, and then the stitching on the inside. I don't know why one bag has better stitching than the inside. It's just this part. But once again, it's black, you can hide it. But this makes me mad. Everything else I can deal with. It's the bottom of the bag. Nobody's really gonna see the bottom of the bag. This makes me mad. That's something that honestly speaking, I would call and complain about. But I can't call and complain. You know why I can't call and complain? Because once she sent me that message and I said, your customer service sucks, she deleted and blocked me from IG and unsent all her messages that she sent to me. She missed one, but it was just like a picture. So I took a screen recording of that. I'll insert, insert that somewhere up here. I'll insert that. And so, which is why it's just like, let me make a video of this because I'm sure I'm not the first person to go through this because if she's deleting you and blocking you, it's not even giving somebody an honest opportunity to review your bags. That means you're only letting people who are just like, click, so happy I got my bags, they finally arrived. Those are those people that she's letting, you know, uh, review her. And so everything looks 100% positive because she's in control of those reviews, which tells you about her character and the type of business that she's running. Another thing was just like all the said and done, she's changed her IG name. Now you change your IG name. You keep your PayPal name. Magic Touch ain't changed, but you've changed, which I also just looked at today, and I see that it's in Britain now, but British pounds now. They're no longer in US dollars, so I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna even go there, but to me, that means that she changed her, her address to a European address or some, some, a country that uses the British pounds. So, um... That's why I think it's important to come on here and review my experience with her because I was all down for supporting uh, this business and I was happy to support somebody, a black business. I believe she's Jamaican, it, don't, don't quote me on that, but I do know she's a black woman and I believe she's Jamaican. So I was just happy to support her on that and get something that I thought would be like really wonderful out of it and then continue to work with her and if somebody ever asked me about the bags I'd be like oh yeah you should check her out you know they're not real but they're bomb nobody can tell like that kind of thing but I would never ever recommend her based off of her customer service and that's the sad thing not necessarily off the bags because I think that this can be fixed this is workable but because of your customer service, that tells me that no ma'am, you're fraudulent. So that's my experience with the bags. I'm glad that at least I received them. I will be using them because I can't return them, so I'll be using them. And I just hope nobody else has to go through something like that. So leave a comment below if you've ever heard of the company or have had any experience with um, her. And let's see, you know, I, I, I'm curious to see how many other people have dealt with this um, 
company, this person, and you know, other experiences, good or bad. Honestly, honestly, I'm all about honesty down here because maybe I just got the short end of the stick, which means a lot. But I really rather hear that from real people. Leave your comment below. Um, I plan on posting more videos. I have a huge uh, haul coming through with a uh, Sheen, Sheen, however you say that. Um, some headband wigs that I ordered, Reb dolls. A couple of reviews that I have coming up since we're all in here quarantined and I am like heavy, heavy shopping. Nothing else to do. Some perfumes that I ordered from Fragrance Net. Just some stuff that I got that I'm happy to review. So, yeah, hear from you guys later. See you next time.